hello and welcome to today's video so in today's video we are going to talk about setting up the basic pages of the website that is the home page the login page and the register page so we're going to start by um first getting the files that we need so i'm going to leave a link in the description below to each file uh so basically we need three files that is the uh, we need the home page the login page and the register page so what i want you to do is i want you to uh, once you've downloaded those files i want you to go to the templates folder and i want you to enter the to do app folder that we created and i want you to paste those three files inside there so once you've done that let's return back to the code once you've done that you should see three files inside uh the to do app folder which is login register and to do so uh let's now start setting up the views so i want you to go to your views.py and here we're going to create the home page so we're going to say we're going to be using um functions based view functions based views so we're going to say the home and inside here we'll pass in request and after doing that we're going to return render and we're going to pass in request and then to do up we need to pass in a, the URL to where the file is to so do up and we're going to say forward slash um let's say the name of the file the name of the file is to do html so I'm going to say to do up forward slash to do html and now we're going to pass in an empty context now after doing this after creating the view we need to go back to our URLs the pi file inside our app and actually create a url for this view so we're going to go back and then we're going to say let's imp we need to import views at the top so we're going to say from dot import views what this dot means is that from the present working directory that we are in import views so we're going to create um a new url path and we're going to leave this empty because we want it to be the home page so again, to uh, pass in whatever for, um, function based view we need to pass in here. So again, say views views dot home. We are passing in. Uh, let me change that. We are passing in views dot home here because in our views dot pi file we created a view named home, and then this view returns the home page. So hence, that's why we're returning views dot home. And after doing that, we need to give it um, a name of our uh, home page, home dash page. Now, don't forget to put a comma here. So, when we save this, uh, let's make sure, just make sure your server is running. Uh, let me cancel this. Python manage that's py run server. So, make sure your server is running and then once it's running go back to your browser and then reload this page so we can see we're getting an error templates does not exist as to do okay it was a wrong spelling so i'm sorry i'm just going to change that it's supposed to be to do up yep so when we refresh that right now we can see this is the home page and this is how our project is going to look like once we uh once we are done building it so this is the home page of the website now we need to now create another view which is going to be the register view so i'm going to say dev register regis dev register and we're going to pass in request and then after doing this we're just going to return render R -E -N. you know what? i'm just going to copy this up here so we want to return render the particular view which is the particular template which is register.html so we're going to come over here to and then we're going to replace it with register and after doing this, we also need to create a view for the login page. So I'm going to say the login. I'm going to say the login page. Now I want you to take note of something. 
please do not name this view login because uh we are going to eventually use a a library a built-in library in django and the name is library so in order to avoid um um confusion and um clashing please just name it login page or something else and then we're going to pass in request here and then we're going to return render login.html and after doing this uh we need to create a url for it now always remember that it's always it's always a three-way process when you're creating a new view a two-way process you create a view you create a url for it once you create a view you need to map it to a url so what you need to do is in the url is a pi file we are now going to come down and we are going to create a new url for the register page so we're going to name it register and then we're going to pass in the function we'll say views.register and we'll give it a name of register now put a comma here after that we need to create a new path for login in so we're going to name this um i'm going to name this login login and after doing that we need to pass in the function as usual so views dot views dot login login page and after that we'll give it a name of login now once we save that and return back to our um browser now we need to check the url that we gave it for registering it's register so i'm going to say uh forward slash register so once we press enter okay there is an error in the template so i'm just going to quickly fix that sorry this is uh an error that i made i would like to fix that too in the login page all right so once we uh go to this view and we load we can see this right here is the login view the register view rather you can see it takes in um the username email and password and for the re um, for this is the register view for the login url we're just going to type in login and we can see this is the login url so this is the form we are going to be working with to be able to log in and register a user so right now what we need to do is we need to um start writing code that is actually going to um create users and authenticate users so in the next video we're going to be talking about django um we're going to be talking about we're going to be talking about um django authentication and validation so we're going to talk about how to create new users in django and how to log in and validate users in django so thank you for watching this section of the uh video of the playlist if you like seeing content like this please don't forget to like share and subscribe i'm going to see you in the next video